This is a Sanjian ATS505 uh, AM FM shortwave portable uh, that uh, supports a uh, single sideband. It's still available. This radio has been around for a long time. Uh, it's important to note that um, it uh, has a good bit larger uh, footprint than uh, some of the radios common today. For example, here's a, a Grundig G5, so you can see that the, uh, the ATS505 is a, is a bigger radio. But it's a good performer. I've had this one for a long time, and uh, they are generally, uh, generally available. One interesting thing about this radio is that uh, it's different from a lot of others is it does not have any kind of a uh, battery level indication. So I guess you just uh, you just listen and then when it um, finally dies, you know that uh, you know that uh, you've got to replace the batteries. It's a uh, quite a sensitive radio. I have uh, I have noticed uh, using an external antenna, which I commonly do, that sometimes you will get some images. In other words, stations appear on frequencies that they're not uh, they're not supposed to be on. Uh, this radio has a tuning knob, and you see it right uh, right here. Bands are in relatively poor shape uh, as I make this video, and. Uh, uh, we're listening to a, uh, a ham sending Morse code in the 40 meter band, and uh, there's not uh, not a whole lot a uh, whole lot else on. Uh, you can tune in either uh, one kilohertz or five kilohertz steps, and you change that by pushing this button here. So um, if there's nothing on the display, it tunes in five kilohertz steps. If I push this button in, you'll see it says step one kilohertz, and uh, then it will it will tune in one kilohertz steps, which is uh, what we need for uh, things like single sideband in the ham bands and uh, and also CW. The uh, 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 lock is actually a switch down here, so as you can see, I've uh, I can switch it into uh, lock mode by. Uh, changing the setting of that switch right there. There are three audio bandwidths which is uh, somewhat unusual um, and that's controlled by a, uh, a switch over here on the side. There's um, oh, that's the, that's the lock switch. So there's sort of a, um, a middle ground is what we're in right now and then there's also a uh, a wider bandwidth and then also a, a narrower bandwidth. This uh, LED right here, uh, probably can't see that on the video, but it's uh, red when you're in uh, single sideband mode. And uh, single sideband mode is selected by a switch over here. That LED goes green when you take it out of single sideband mode, which then of course would be in, the, in AM mode. There's also an FM and FM stereo switch over here, and that uh, also doubles as a uh, as a DX and uh, a local switch. It has um, auto tuning here. If I put it, uh, I think I'll put it down in the. Uh, I think if I hold this button down, it will. Uh, I'm now in the uh, in the standard broadcast band, and so if I hold one of these buttons down, it will. Uh, uh, tune uh, in silent mode until it comes up on a uh, on a station. Final segment before we get out of the way and let Rush Limbaugh take it over. And yes, we're wasting time with March Madness today because. If I go back to, um, I'm back on 40 meters here, and uh, there's a, a fine-tuning knob over here on the, uh, on the left. See where my finger is right there. And you can uh, adjust the, uh, the fine-tuning to pick up a, a CW or a single sideband station. So it looks like our, uh, our uh, Morse code station there has, uh, has uh, quit for the time being. 
and there's not much else on the bands today. But anyhow, this ATS 505 Sanjin is a, is an interesting radio. Been around a while, still a good performer, and uh, uh, is uh, is still uh, can still sometimes be found.